always around boats because my dad was dad keen sailor, so I was you know in boats sailing with him, but not really learning myself until you know, a little later in uh, in primary school. My first boat, I got my wooden sabo um, for Christmas at Wanji Caravan Park. I remember walking outside and. Uh, real, I forget the number, but uh, yeah, wooden sabo, uh, and then we you know, spent all Christmas out there sailing. When I first started sailing, I didn't really like it that much. I guess you know it was it was fun and stuff, but I was uh, quite scared of the wind. So when it was windy, I wouldn't go out, and if uh, if I went out and it got windy, I'd come back in. And then my dad bought me a new boat, and uh, and then just took off from there. You know, it was much easier with a new boat, much more fun, and I was kind of the same as everyone else, you know, with the same looking boat instead of a wooden boat, and uh, yeah, really enjoyed it from then. My junior sailing regatta is not, not too well. I think, uh, you know, I was always, you know, I guess, you know, a straggler um, in, in the sabots, getting in a little late compared to, you know, some of the hot shots at the time. And uh, so the States, I can't really remember. I qualified maybe last or second last to go for the uh, Northern New South Wales squad to go to the Nationals and then went to the Nationals and finished 35th. So not, and that was the only National I went to in Tasmania in, I think, 2004. Um, or 2005, yeah, so 35th and uh, yeah, that was my Sabo career. Two tips to give to juniors would be have fun for sure. Um, it's much easier to learn a lot when you're having fun and, uh, and also take the emotion out of it. So it's just a game when you're sailing, um, just like your Xbox or your PlayStation at home. It's, you know, it's all on you and, and the decisions you make during the game is, uh, you know, impacts on your results. So instead of making excuses, and uh, learn from your mistakes and, and do it better next time. Yeah, for junior guys to get in you know, a, a bigger sailing career or I guess get into the elite sailing is uh, you, know, you need to make smaller goals. Obviously some, you know, the, the big goal could be America's Cup or it could be match racing or it could be the Olympic Games but there are so many smaller steps that need to be made on, along the way um, and those smaller steps kind of make it more realistic because you're chasing something that's kind of within reach, it's not. You know, miles and miles away. So, um, you know, that's a, that's a big key one, um, and you know, pursuing those goals. So, making them realistic and actually doing everything you can uh, to chase those ones down.